short version of the uh, frame by frame that I can come up with or close to frame by frame. I can't find one that starts before this, the lighting here. Um, but we're going to, what I'm going to show you is that it's about this is the, roughly the path of the collapse. That these two, that the top floor is first. This column won't move. That these two will move. Let's let's do it. And I'll narrate as I go. So let's go backwards. Let's put the mouse here and take note of that column, of the where the mouse is. You see, it hasn't it hasn't shifted. Um, but the columns to the right have shifted. I'm going to do this a few times for you. And I want you to take note down here where this shifting. Everything that's shifting is all interacting together. All right, let's do that again. So you can see what part of the building is, is reacting together. So you can see that this is the path of the collapse that it started at the top, not the bottom. The bottom's not giving in yet, except for the bottom over here. So it's this direction. And let's do it again. See the bottom right? Shifting. I want you to take note right here, this floor separate, this section separating right here. Let's do that. Put the mouse over it to confirm that it's moving and not just a lighting issue. And you can see it sit down a little bit. And now I'm going to go forward. And now you see down here where this this reaction is happening and up there also. So let's go back. And you can see that third column. I call this one the third column now. The uh, what I'm calling in this video. So I got changed to another video, but the, the numbering. But this would be column number three and. And it's still present. And then we get these top four or five floors, one, two, three, four, five floors, including the roof deck. Um, we get my cat. We get that collapsing down on those lower floors. Let's go forward. And you can see now it's broke it's the the, the, the this this is this is failed. And we're getting a rotation um, they bend here. Um, shit. Hey Mark, hey Mark, can, can I call you back? I'm just doing a quick video real quick. Uh, call yeah. Back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, bye. Thanks. All right, so let me do finish this. So the, uh, um, so there we go. We're getting this quick, we're getting the, and you're getting the arc. The arc's going to come over here too at the same time as we go down. You can. The lights go out the same time here and here. So that transformer, is a transformer down there or, or something is somehow connected from this part of the building and over here, which is amazing uh, in itself. I guess there's a transformer down there, but we're still going to get arcing up here, apparently arcing. But let's go. Um, so you still see these two columns here, mostly this one. So the top floor is collapsing first, and then it could cause the lower floors to, to fail. But first, we get the section here, the, the back section we're facing, let's call this the back section, is failing first. It's going to leave a notch away, a notch of this part, part of the structure and, the, and a little bit of the front. But you can always see that it's pulling on this building to some degree. They're pulling it apart. And you see now that this structure is still in the back. The facade in the front is still there, but it's coming down and going forward. And the lower part of the floor... This is that big piece of asphalt. This this section here, I believe, is probably probably um, or probably wrong direction. Probably this section here that we see is sliding off. This is see you see the punch here around the columns. They're numbered. Here's number 42 by my mouse. Here's 72. Um, that's the parking garage, including the uh, deck for the uh, pool area. Um, I believe that's that's your roof connection there. And it slid off. Um, this person sitting on their ass, literally. And, okay. 
back to the video because I just wanted to show you the rest of the, the collapse. So right at this point, the camera, you know, frames per second, it miss it, the rest of the structure comes down here. It's going to undermine this part of the structure and pull down the uh, remaining 10 floor, approximately 10 floors. Oops. Okay, the lights, there's a light going out here. Now you see daylight in the background, if you will. And part of the structure around, the, it's like a triangle, it's got basically a triangle of it. And now it's going to get undermined to the left. The bottom foundation here is being kicked out from underneath from it broken. And it's going to start rotating and then it's going to collapse on itself because it can't hold itself in that. It can't support itself. It's a lot of cantilevers there, if you will, after the after the uh, columns are taken out. The columns of the base. And there's your progressive collapse there. Rotating this way, and then these will this will shift in, and you'll see the top six floors pancaked in the in the images following or in, in the current images online. So you see the floors coming down. And it's going to rotate inwards. So maybe that's the, that could be the roof, that section there. I don't, yeah, it could be. Could have slid forward here. There's your arcing, the parent arcing. And that's the end of that video. Um, so that shows the collapse in slow motion. This probably that corner roof there that slid that fell down, pancaked down, and yeah. Thank you. Let me get to this. Thank you. Um, so then that load that load hit that deck, push forced the deck down, and it just created a a, 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 a zipper effect, of, you know, shearing one after another across, punching uh, around this around these columns here, parking garage structure. Um, eliminating any ex nefarious explosive things. You don't see any burn marks. Um, you don't see the rebar twisted in an out in a, in a direction up here. What we visually see um, the decking. Here's the flooring and the decking at the same time. It's this this design is is uh, very very interesting. It's not hollow, um, but it is. It might be a prefab. Um, because it's so consistent. This might be prefab, but this might be concrete and then a rebar ripped out from underneath of it. But that said, um, here's a hollow core flooring precast concrete form. What it looks like, there's the hollow core prefab floor, floors, what they look like. And you just lay them there like that, the hollow core. So there's a little bit of a, you know, there's no hollow core in here. Um, And it all appears to be reinforced. There's from that the rubble that went out to the street sign, and oh, I get to see clear more clearly now. The the uh, up to about the fifth floor here, one, two, three, four, five, six floor, maybe seven. It's got this buckling going on where where or or or, or, or tension where it pulled it, and it created this uh, this break here. And after that, there is not is not present any longer. Uh, the floors above that, the images don't present that. Um, there it is. There it's probably holding onto the floors. It's ripping apart, creating that that tear, if you will, and the uh, floor being shifted. Um, okay, let's go. Uh, let's go out of here real quickly and get you to. Um, Other images. I think that image is good enough. Uh, this video that Miami Dade put up there. This appears to be the floor, but look at the floor in the garage. I'm going to pause it in a second. As you can see, no supports are out here. And in a moment, we're going to go in here and see all these people here. Yet this, besides the re reinforcement holding it, they're then they're then looks like they're reinforcing it with uh, a couple of jacks. <laughs> Point loading instead of using beams and then hold it up, sort of like you're doing a um, a uh, uh, a uh, 
Yeah. Uh, mine. So there's those, those, I think it might have been rebar in there, but I don't see it here. I don't get this ripple, this tear, this, this, uh, these fractures. I don't see the rebar. The Man, I don't get it. I can't explain it because I can't see the wire, the reinforcement. Now, there's a column that he's using to support it. And I just see a little bit of wire there, but maybe it fell down so much so that it, I don't see the wire. But clearly, something is there. They got ripped out. I don't think that's the architectural detail because the rest of the roof doesn't appear to show that ceiling. Right there. It appears to start right about there, all in, all in the same plane. And no lateral break, cross bracing, which is really confusing to me. Um, here's your, again, prefab system. It is the hollow cord, and it looks like that. Let's go to this again. So there's a lot of people standing underneath this, uh, this thing while he makes a hole into the ceiling. So a lot of spectators, because they're just, they're not, they're not helping. They're spectating at this point. All right, so I just wanted to share that with you. Now there's an 8 o'clock briefing starting now. Um, is it still coming on? Um, 8 p.m. Surfside Building Collapse Update. 8 p.m. Miami-Dade Police Department. So they turned this into a criminal um, um, homicide investigation when it gets turned over to them, as I understand. Uh, yeah, let's do this for a second. Uh, yeah, Keenan Penny up here. Uh, yeah, so Gregory says you are always quick to notice. Yes, that prop is like a finger pressing an individual key on a piano. It has no effort effect on the other keys. This is, however, most likely a layer of light steel mesh. And that's what I just talked about. I didn't quite see a concrete topping on the opposite side. Um, a surfside collapse. Now, Miami building plate, right? Um, that's, thanks for sharing that, Gregory. Uh, Miami collapse right in progress. Uh, playlist, very interesting. Uh, thank you, Gregory. And I'm terminating video. I'll get, you guys can find Gregory over here. He's a South African structural engineer. Take care. Bye.